Okay. One second. Sorry if I, if I didn't say that clear enough at the beginning. But yeah, that's basically what it is. It's a common question that I get asked. People say, Nixium, you're a, uh, a big advocate for Classic WoW. You love Classic like WoW. But why do you like Classic WoW so much? What about the game made it so good for you? Why did you like Classic WoW back when you were a kid? And why do you like Classic WoW so <laughs> much today? Well, guys, okay, that's dude. a very common question. But the answer to that question nice is set. massive. Okay. It's huge. So what wow. I'm going to do is I'm going to break big. down my answer to that question into a series of videos called Why I Love Classic WoW. I still remember my first time logging into World of Warcraft. I made an undead warlock back in Classic. Yo, I, I stepped outside thing. of the crypt that you start in, and I beheld yeah. not just a game, but a world. You walked out I there? pressed M oh my on God. my keyboard. Yes. I right-clicked the map. And then I right clicked again. Is, what I saw blew me away. Laid out before me was an entirely new world to explore, rich with different landscapes, peoples, and lore to be discovered. Fuck the game yeah. beckoned to me to proceed forward, to enter into its depths with adventure in mind. And what an adventure it was. To start things off sure with this new was. series of mine, why I love Classic WoW, I'd like to start simply with the world of Azeroth itself. Now, when I say the world, I literally mean the game world itself and the people in it, the actual world of Warcraft. When I first started playing the game, there were a number of things about Azeroth that just absolutely amazed me as a kid. Now, first and foremost, as mentioned before, it was the sheer scale of it. Now here I That's thought true. the Eastern Kingdoms yeah. was huge on its own, but there was also Kalimdor across the seas. I had the same thing happen. I don't want to pause too many times, right? But I had the same fucking thing happen. Whenever I first started the game, I thought the whole game was like, there's like, you know, there's Elwyn Forest, there's Westfall, and there's Stormwind. There it is, boys. I fucking run this shit. I beat the whole game. And like, I remember the first time that I swam out. This is crazy. I swam out to the Zandalari Island. Zach actually went there and did it first, and I followed him. I was afraid. And we went to this island, and there were these, like, level 63 trolls, and I'm like, what the fuck? And, like, that was the first time that I really got the mindset. I really realized how big the world was. And it's actually crazy. Like, there are so many other people that feel the exact same way. That's awesome. Continent even larger than the one that I had started on. As I walked through Tyrus yeah. Glades, killing undead, questing, fighting the Scarlet Crusade, I couldn't help but get this feeling that the world was so big then it wasn't even possible to explore it all. Now, obviously yeah. that's not true, but the immersive quality of the world's scale had sucked me in. It was there. It's very true. And for me personally, I think that an element that really helped with immersing me into Azeroth was the lack of loading screens in the game. Was I was so used to playing then. games that had loading screens between yeah. zones and areas and levels that when I was able to seamlessly walk from Tyrus Fall Glades into Silver Pine Forest without any kind of pause, you were in it. It blew my mind. Yeah. Really, the only loading screens you got in WoW Classic was when you entered into an instance, a battleground, or traveled cross continent. Something that didn't happen all that often compared to the time you spend adventuring and questing. That was a questing. big selling point. It's for not a while really back like then. today, where there's a lot more portal use and a lot more jumping around between areas. So the fact is that Blizzard successfully pulled off the feeling of a world in my mind and not a series of instanced zones yep. or whatever and this just made the game feel all the more alive to me and so guys i went from town to town leveling my character in a non-linear fashion going from zone to zone gathering so resources though? and encountering the all the different stories that world of warcraft had to offer i traveled through haunted forests I swam across a cursed lake. I Pride delved server. deep into ancient night elf forests, Jeez. climbed snowy mountains, braved the okay. blistering heat of deserts, and a whole lot more. The world wasn't just huge. It was diverse in all the different places that you could visit. No two zones felt the same. 
All of them had a personality to them and something that made them feel different. Something that made them stand out. What I mean is, Silver Pine Forest had those terrifying sons of Arugal that wandered through the forests and- So I leveled up my mage. I got to level 15. Nothing could beat me. I see a son of Argyle. Zach was sitting next to me. I go, Zach, watch how a player plays. And I get, I get right up next to him, and I try to get within range to shoot a frostbolt at him. He fucking aggros before I even get in range. And he starts running after him. He's like, well, what are you going to do now, Zach? I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. I'm going to run away. And so I start trying to cast a spell. Fucking thing goes right by him, misses. I try to cast another one, misses again. He starts hitting me. He does like one hit. It's like one of those, like, it wasn't like a, cr it was a crushing damage. Hit me for like half my health bar. I blink away. He doesn't give a fuck because I'm dazed from the first hit. And he just keeps running after me. And he kills me. And Zach's like, wow. Oh, you're pretty good, huh? And that was, uh... There were a number of times in the game where I, I got a little bit overconfident, right? Fake blink at 20? Really? Was it blink? I don't know. Like, yeah, big surprise. I don't fully remember the, the story of a thing that happened 12 years ago, right? But it was something like that. I ran away, and I just remember very clearly thinking that I was the master of the fucking game and fighting one of those, and I died. And killed unsuspecting low-level players. Hills Brad Foothills had the dreaded Terran Mill versus South Shore battles. I never did that. Duskwood had the whole mysterious storyline about why are the Worgen there Big and Seems what are here. the Scourge up Ooh, to beneath up, Raven Hill Cemetery and a whole lot more. There was just never two zones that felt the same and no two storylines were repeated. And I yeah. like that. Now, I am going to talk about the lore of Not Classic like WoW in another part in this series, but let's just say for right now that Classic Storyline, for me, was my favorite time period of World of Warcraft. And I'll detail why and go into all that later. The point is this. As I went through the world, there was just so much to experience. Blizzard really took the time to sell high fantasy to the player, and believe me, it sold. It wasn't just environments yes. either, but structures too that left you in awe. Do you guys remember the first time you saw the dam of Loch Madan? The gates. My friend Jason jumped my character off the dam. I almost punched him in the fucking face whenever he did that. Like, there were very few times that I actually got mad because I was playing and he put his hand over my hand and he just made my character run off the, the dam. He's like, oh, go over the edge. What's over there? And I'm like, what is it? And he just fucking put his hand out and made me run off the edge. I was so fucking mad, man. Like, because, you know, back then, it's not like you could just, oh, you just go fly back up there, use your hearthstone or whatever. That's like an hour cooldown. I was fucking furious. And it, it's crazy for me to see, like, all these old areas and zones, like Orgrimmar, old Orgrimmar, and just remember, like, how, I don't know, just the little memories that each one of them had. Of Dude, that, that platform right the there. The halls of yeah. Ironforge, Blackrock Mountain, Thunder Bluff, the trees of Ashenvale. Guys, the list goes on. In terms of a game's exploration quality, in my opinion, WoW is unsurpassed. Around every corner, there was a new mystery to be discovered, a new landscape to behold, and a new structure to be in awe of. The world... It felt like it was crafted with so much love and so much attention to detail, and I loved Blizzard for it. I absolutely loved them for it. Back in those days, guys, my friend Ben was letting me play my Undead Warlock on his computer. I would watch <laughs> him play his Undead yep. Warlock, then he would let me play for like 30 minutes just so that I could have fun playing the game because I didn't have a computer good enough to play WoW at the time. Too. And we would just take turns playing because yep. it's a long time ago, okay? You took you took turns playing video games back then, okay? That's right. <laughs> but sure did. looking back to that time period before I got my own account and I was able to make my own character on my own computer, even though I was only able to play for tiny intervals on his computer, the world had already sucked me into it nonetheless. Azeroth, with its massive scale, the lack of loading screens, the diverse zones, the high fantasy experience, it had hooked me through its visuals alone.
through its quality of exploration. But there was plenty more in the game that made me fall in love with Azeroth, and there is plenty more to say in regards to why I loved Classic WoW so much back in the day and why I love it so much now. But those are stories for another video. So for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the video or listening. That was a good if video. you, like me, have any sort of cool story you want to share from your first time logging into the world of Azeroth, feel free to leave Fuck a comment yeah, below dude. and share it with the Fuck community. Yeah. But either way, guys, thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a patron or joining the YouTube community and all that bullshit. And, uh, I will talk to you guys soon. You alright? Alright. I'll see ya. I never made this, this connection here. And, um, I don't know if that's something that maybe I, I didn't, uh, I, I didn't miss out on or whatever. But, the classic WoW lore followed the same direction as the Dark Souls lore in the way that it's told, that you don't necessarily have to interface with any of the lore at all, but it's below surface level and it's available if you want to do it. And I think that's really what made the game special, and that's why I think so many people have good memories of the lore in Classic WoW in the same way that they like the lore in Dark Souls, because it's something that you discover yourself, and because of that, it's like there's like an internal satisfaction for that. And I, I really, really like that a lot. And mm -hmm. I would... Chat, chat does not agree with yeah, you. they're just fucking retarded. They don't know anything. Um, th I, I'm completely right. Like, I don't need, I don't need chat's validation for this. I know that I'm fucking right about this. Like, absolutely, 100%, 300%, 400% fucking right. Okay? That's all there is to it. Yeah, they, they just, people just type stupid shit all the time. Like, ever since they invented that Papega emote, Chats just turned into fucking retards. Like, they're like, I don't understand anything, Papega. It's like, oh, jeez. You know, it's just like being around, like, you know, thousands of kids that say why after every single question. It's fucking annoying. It's exhausting. Nobody likes it. Okay? Like, it, it, that's why they're on, on a Twitch chat doing it. It's just obnoxious. But the point is, right, I, I don't understand why Blizzard can't do this again. And I hope that they can. But personally... I think the only time that we're ever going to see this again is going to be in Classic WoW, right? Uh, I don't think I don't see their I don't see the game. Well, being how? The same way. What do you mean? How? I mean, aside from new players, you know, that have never played Classic, all the returning players are going to know everything about it, though. Like they're going to know where all the shit's hidden, where to go for the quest. They're going to know that you need to be dead to talk to the guy for the key. Yeah. What do you mean, oh great, here we go. Like, I'm just, I'm offering counterpoints to your video, asshole. Well, you're right. I mean, you're never gonna have the, it's never gonna be the first time again. It's like the first time you went to high school, you can only get thrown in the garbage can once. Like, for the first time once, right? And, and after that, it's like, it's just, you know, you've had that happen before. And like, yeah, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but there it is. Like, I get what you're saying, right? I totally do. But at the same time, I think that people, like, a lot of people don't really look shit up. They just figure it out. And I think that's okay, too. Um, have you ever played EverQuest? No, I've never played EverQuest. Just think about the tons of add-ons and helpers there are today. There were a lot of add-ons back then. I think the difference is, like, social media and, like, the way people make, uh, like, games and shit now, right? And, like, videos for everything now. That's really what's changed, and um, I, I'd like to see that be more the case, obviously. Like, I mean, obviously it's good, but I don't know. I just wish the lore was more like it was in Classic, and if they did that, I would be very happy. Let me just say that right now. Uh, if you're in Heroic BOD, no, nah, why would I even do that? It's a waste of time. Will you ever play Red Dead Redemption 2? Probably not on stream. Atlas Loot before Dungeon Journal? Yeah, we had Atlas Loot before Dungeon Journal. We had Carbonite Quest before we had the automatic in-game quest helper. I mean, <laughs> what? Dude, I hated Carbonite, man. That, Why? Oh, fuck. Because, it, because the map, like, it left that big-ass big, big -ass trail. Like, it, oh, it would have this yeah. big-ass trail. 
Remember that? Ugh, I hated that thing, dude. But I use Atlas loot every day. Like, I would spend hours and hours just looking at the fucking loot. I would actually, I was so much of a loot whore that whenever I would go over to my dad's and his computer, uh, he wouldn't let me play WoW over at his house. Because he's like, oh, you just go on the game, you never get off. And I would go on to uh, Atlas loot and I would just look up loot from like Nax and AQ. That's all I would do. And like legendary items. Like, I knew how to get Thunder Fury whenever I was like level 40. Because I had nothing else to do. That was all he let me do. It sucked, but there it was. Uh, go play Elder Scrolls Online. We'll see what happens, man. Are you playing Elder Scrolls, McConnell? <laughs> huh? No. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it is. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think it's good. Uh, I'll play it at some point, but who knows when that point is actually going to be. Okay. All right. I finished this up. Let's get started with Bloodborne. It's time. Let me go ahead and hearth back over and we'll get ready. Okay. All right. So let's take, uh, let's take some guesses. How long do you think it's going to take until, uh, until I have a, uh, a technical difficulty, something that's just 